Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day as we make history. Today is Thursday, March 14, 2024. The year is 1309. Our main topic, on Eid al-Fitr, the citizens of Granada stormed palaces in the city, deposing Sultan Muhammad III and placing his half-brother Nasser on the throne. On a joyous day of celebration, Eid al-Fitr, the citizens of Granada, Spain, stormed the palaces in their city and overthrew Sultan Muhammad III, replacing him with his half-brother Nasser. This event occurred in 1309 and marked a significant moment in the history of the Emirate of Granada, which was a Muslim state that ruled parts of the Iberian Peninsula from the 8th to the 15th century. Context, at the time of this event, Granada was facing a three-front war against Castile, Aragon, and the Marinid Sultanate. This conflict was triggered by Muhammad III's foreign policy, which had led to the loss of several territories in the siege of al Hathiras. The citizens of Granada were likely dissatisfied with their ruler's leadership and saw an opportunity to bring about change during the celebrations of Eid al-Fitr. Historical significance, the event marked the beginning of Nasser's reign as the fourth Nasrid ruler of the Emirate of Granada. Nasser made peace with the Marinids, ceding some territories to them, and agreed to pay tributes and indemnities to Ferdinand IV of Castile in exchange for seven years of peace. This event also highlights the political instability that Granada faced during this period, as well as the power struggles within the Nasrid dynasty. Overall, the event is significant because it showcases the complex political landscape of medieval Islamic Spain and the ways in which the ruling dynasties and their subjects interacted. It also highlights the importance of Eid al-Fitr as a significant celebration in the Islamic calendar, even in the midst of political turmoil. The year is 1900. On the news, the Gold Standard Act is ratified, placing the United States currency on the gold standard. Good evening, and welcome to our evening news broadcast. Today, we're taking a step back in time to March 14, 1900, when the Gold Standard Act was ratified, placing the United States currency on the gold standard. Now, before we dive into the details of this significant event, let's first set the stage. The late 1800s saw the United States experiencing rapid growth and industrialization, and with it, a need for a more stable and reliable monetary system. Up until this point, the US dollar was based on a bimetallic standard, which allowed for the use of both gold and silver as legal tender. But, as the country's economy continued to expand, the need for a more stable currency became increasingly apparent. And that's where the Gold Standard Act comes in. Signed into law by President William McKinley, this act defined the US dollar in terms of gold weight and required the US Treasury to redeem paper currency for gold coin on demand. So, why is this event so significant? Well, my dear viewers, the Gold Standard Act marked a major turning point in the history of the U.S. monetary system. By tying the value of the dollar to gold, the act helped to stabilize the currency and promote confidence in the U.S. economy. It also paved the way for the United States to become a global economic powerhouse, as the gold standard facilitated international trade and investment. Now, it's worth noting that the gold standard has had its fair share of critics over the years. Some argue that it restricts the government's ability to print money and stimulate economic growth during times of recession. But, despite these criticisms, the gold standard remained in place until 1971, when the United States unilaterally terminated convertibility of the dollar to gold, effectively ending the Bretton Woods system. In conclusion, the ratification of the Gold Standard Act on March 14, 1900, was a significant milestone in the history of the U.S. monetary system. It marked a shift towards a more stable and reliable currency, and helped to establish the United States as a major player in the global economy. And while the Gold Standard has had its share of controversies, its impact on the U.S. economy cannot be denied. 
Thank you for joining us tonight, and we hope you have a better understanding of this important event in American history. Good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Our selected holiday for today, Christian Feast Day, Matilda of Ringelheim. The Christian Feast Day of Matilda of Ringelheim is celebrated annually on March 14th. This holiday commemorates the life and legacy of St. Matilda, a Saxon noblewoman who became the first Ottonian queen through her marriage to Henry I in 909. Matilda was known for her piety, righteousness, and charitable works, and she founded several spiritual institutions and women's convents. Her eldest son, Otto I, restored the Holy Roman Empire in 962. The cultural significance of this holiday lies in its celebration of a remarkable woman who played a significant role in shaping European history. Through her marriage and her son's reign, Matilda helped to establish the Ottonian dynasty, which had a profound impact on the political and cultural landscape of medieval Europe. Her founding of spiritual institutions and women's convents also contributed to the spread of Christianity and the empowerment of women during a time when women's roles in society were limited. Moreover, Matilda's life and legacy serve as a testament to the importance of faith, compassion, and service to others. Her commitment to these values is an inspiration to people of all backgrounds and beliefs, and her story continues to be relevant today. The Christian Feast Day of Matilda of Ringelheim is an opportunity for people to reflect on the positive impact that one person can have on the world and to be inspired to make a difference in their own communities. On this day, in 1946, Wes Unseld, American basketball player, coach, and manager, D. 2020, was born. Wes Unseld was a legendary basketball player, coach, and executive who left an indelible mark on the sport. He spent his entire NBA career with the Baltimore-Capital-Washington Bullets, now known as the Washington Wizards, and was a key figure in the team's success. Unseld's impressive resume includes being named the NBA Most Valuable Player and NBA Rookie of the Year in his rookie season, an achievement shared only with Wilt Chamberlain. He won an NBA championship with the Bullets in 1978 and was awarded the Finals MVP. Unseld's professional accomplishments are complemented by his dedication to his community. He was known for his kindness, humility, and generosity, and was deeply respected by his peers and fans alike. Unseld's commitment to giving back was evident in his involvement in various charitable initiatives, including the Wes Unseld Foundation, which aimed to provide support for underserved youth in the Washington, D.C. area. After retiring from playing in 1981, Unseld continued to work with the Bullets Wizards organization as a vice president, head coach, and general manager. His leadership and expertise played a significant role in shaping the team's success over the years. Unseld's contributions to the sport of basketball were recognized in 1988 when he was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Sadly, Unseld passed away in 2020, leaving behind a legacy that extends far beyond his impressive statistics and achievements on the court. His dedication to his community, his commitment to giving back, and his kindness towards others have inspired countless individuals and will continue to do so for generations to come. The world of basketball has lost a true legend, but Unseld's impact will continue to be felt for years to come. Rest in peace, Wes Unseld. We remember the life of Busby Berkeley, American director and choreographer, born 1895, who died on the state in 1976. Busby Berkeley was a visionary film director and choreographer who brought magic to the silver screen with his elaborate musical production numbers. Born in 1895, Berkeley began his career as a dancer and choreographer in theater before transitioning to film. His innovative and imaginative approach to musical numbers revolutionized the genre and earned him a place in Hollywood history. Berkeley's signature style involved intricate geometric patterns, elaborate costumes, and a large number of showgirls, creating a kaleidoscope of color and movement on screen. His works often featured fantasy elements, transporting audiences to a world of glamour and spectacle. Some of his most iconic works include 42nd Street, Footlight Parade, and Roman Scandals. Barclay's impact on the film industry was significant. He elevated the musical genre to new heights, inspiring future directors and choreographers. His work also helped to showcase the talents of many performers, including actresses and dancers who might otherwise have been overlooked. Despite his professional success, Barclay's personal life was not without challenges. 
He struggled with alcoholism and was known to be demanding and difficult to work with at times. However, his legacy continues to be celebrated, and his contributions to the world of entertainment are undeniable. In conclusion, Busby Berkeley was a creative force to be reckoned with. His innovative style and vision brought joy and glamour to millions, and his impact on the film industry continues to be felt today. His life and work serve as a reminder of the power of imagination and the importance of following one's passion. This was Today in History, an AI podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.